Hey guys and welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Phil Richards. In today's video we're going to be going through the special test, bruise test. And this test is for thoracic outlet syndrome. Let's jump straight and I'll explain as we go. So the position for this test is we want both patient arms up into this sort of military press position. So we want this flexion, horizontal abduction and external rotation. So if we can get Polly to do that now, we can do that on both sides. Now we want the elbows to go slightly further back from the frontal plane. And the point of this position is to get some compression in and around here. Why here? Well, there's a neurovascular bundle that sits under, uh, under here, um, which has unsurprisingly nerves and blood vessels. And we want to compress and irritate these to see if it's the source of our patient's condition, hence thoracic outlet syndrome. So all we do from here is we ask the patient to repeatedly open and close their hands. So we're starting to drive blood and tension from here to see if it irritates it. We're looking over a three minute period. So we're going to do this for three minutes, a sense of heaviness in the affected side, paresthesia, pain, any sort of sense of ischemia, i.e. lack of blood flow or something like that, that would give us a positive test for this. We generally want to test this with both arms because sometimes it's quite fatiguing for the patient anyway. We want to make sure there's a difference from one side to the other. That's basically it. You just want to relax now. There is another test for thoracic outlet syndrome called Adson's test. It's a little bit more faffy, involves taking radial pulse, getting them to turn their head and hold their breath. I haven't found it that easy to do and repeatable in clinical practice. Uh, so I would jump straight to the bruise test because it's very easy to do. It's a nice way of clearing and screening it. That's all there really is to that test. Uh, I like using it, especially when the patient is presenting with sort of numbness pins and needles through the arm and the upper limb tension tests and my other routine examination hasn't reproduced it. And you can look to the thoracic spine areas from that. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon right here on Clinical Physio.